This show is completely fake, made up and not real. Everything that anyone says is created in the moment as an improvisational exercise to improve each of the performers in the moment skills. Any resemblance or mention of persons alive or dead is completely coincidental and should not be confused with actual people, places or things. Watch with an open heart and mind. guys, welcome to another episode of Dream Interview with Dwayne, which is a fun improv-based show that lets you step into the shoes of celebrities being interviewed and being fabulous. Each episode will feature diverse talent from the nation's best entertainment industry instruction leader, John Casablancas. The participants today are JC instructors and working entertainment industry professionals. So let's get started. My first amazing guest, I have been trying to get her here for years. She was always so busy. We watched her grow up on TV. Uh, she is now one of the world's top models. She's also of a, uh, an author of a book called I Can't Help Being Gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tracy Johnson Spence. Welcome, Tracy. Oh my goodness, Dwayne, you you tell so many tales. Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's yes, true. Yes. I can, I've looked it up online. I know it's true. And I saw your recent interview with Barbara Walters, which was unbelievable, where oh. you told the story of how you got started. Tell us a little bit about how you got started in the business. It's right there in the community, you know, so inspired by the clothes from the 70s, the 60s, the 50s, the glamour. And I would just put those type of clothes on every day. So well, I, heard, I actually read in your book that you started making clothes out of grocery bags when you were a kid. And then everybody in your neighborhood ended up wanting something made out of grocery bags. I mean, that that's amazing. And it just goes to show your entrepreneurial spirit, which started early, right? Yes. And people tell your story. They can tell it better than you can sometimes. I just live my life, you know, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I can't even believe that got out. But yeah, yes, and it was absolutely true. Um, there was a store called um, Kroger in Publix, and everybody gave you bags back then. Yeah. So I used to belt them, and you know, just I won't tell all the wardrobe secrets, but yes, one of a kind couture pieces. That's awesome. Now, your new book, which is, of course, a, a, a hit on the, the New York Times bestseller list, um, and it hit number one this morning, so congratulations. Um, it's a new book that you wrote called I Can't Help Being Gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about what inspired the book and what it's about. Well, you know, I just wanted to tell my truth, you know? I just wanted to tell my truth, and I was inspired by my grandparents, especially my great-grandmother, she was just amazing and you know she nicknamed me you wouldn't believe this she nicknamed me hollywood when i was about six years old um because i was such a i, I don't know i made a big fuss over some corn or something i think i was amazed that the kernels just kind of fell off and i was just like what is this all about this is amazing and um and you know she was making corn pudding and she thought it was the most gorgeous thing so she called me hollywood from that day that's amazing. Now, you are right now backstage. You are, of course, in Milan. You're doing a show for Gucci. Can you show us your outfit? Or I know that there's a jacket that goes along with it. Uh, this is it. Oh, well, yeah, this is going wow. to be all the That rating. is just gorgeous. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. <laughs> yes, darling, yeah. Now, this, now that, now that one piece is uh, eleven thousand dollars. I read, um, and it's and it's actual real um, unicorn fur, I believe, right? Yes, and you know, I I, I don't want to, I don't always know the prices if I can be honest, because you know they just give me the things because I can't help be so gorgeous. Like I just, and I'm so grateful because I don't know where else I would get the how else I would be able to have these things. You know. Yeah. Well, oh, and you I'm were still so happy when you were making them out of grocery bags. I mean, you were doing a great oh, job then too. So, 
<laughs> it's been an amazing ride. Yes. It's yeah. Well, speaking of amazing rides, Tracy, I have another guest today who um, I have also been trying to get on. Uh, he has been requested by our fans for so long on all of our social media. And finally, he was able to take a little break today. He's a GQ model. He's got a sneaker line called Foot Fancy, starring mm -hmm. in a new movie. And uh, we've got also some controversy we're going to bring up with Brian Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Brian. Hello, what is going on, sir? Thank you so much for being with us. Um, now, you're actually on the set of your new movie, uh, which is a new movie with Leo DiCaprio, Timothy Charlemagne. Tell us a little bit about what the movie is about, if you can, and, and you know, when it's going to be out. Yes, so even though we've signed these, you know, non-disclosure agreements, what I can say is we got action We've got adventure, we've got a little romance, and I won't tell you the little love interest. There's uh, gonna be a special cameo. That's all I'm allowed to say. But yes, I am on set. Um, I'm actually about to film here in about 30 minutes. So um, was able to take a quick break and uh, just give a shout out and listen to the cast members. Oh, it is, you guys are not gonna believe this film, I'm telling you. I cannot wait. Now we've been seeing on TMZ, people have been catching you know, behind the scenes stuff. You have, uh, you know, it's very well known, have been in a, a long-term relationship with Ariana Grande for over two years, um, but there's some controversy lately that uh, you've been noticed or seen with Charlize Theron. Is there any reality to these rumors that, you know, something's going on romantically? Listen, what I can say is rumors fly, the rumor mill flies. And all I can say is friendships are good, relationships are good and you know sometimes you need some other friends in your life right and you 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 need those influences you need those people to say hey i got your back and all i can say is i've got a good deep friend base and um ariana has no issue good it's good to hear that because she's also a friend of the show she's been here many times and um it's so good to hear that now We've all seen each other at award ceremonies. I saw you guys at the Daytime Emmys Awards. Um, I remember we were at an Oscars party last year together. So we get to see each other a lot, um, but recently it's been very busy. Now, I didn't even know this, Brian, but you have a charity, uh, Save the Chipmunks, which is um, an international charity for right. chipmunks, which, um, you know, it's well known in society that chipmunks have very low self-esteem um, and also may have, you know, um, issues in other areas. So what brought you to, you know, the chipmunks? Yes. Yeah, so um, this, let's give you a little backstory. So this I was sitting in a field, I was taking some time from, from a movie and this, and this chipmunk just, just walked on over and I thought, man, look at the peace, look at the joy, just enjoying nature, enjoying the grass and the fields. And then another chipmunk came by and it looked like there was a little disagreement and they were just, and I just, I thought, man, if chipmunks can have disagreements, what kind of world are we living in? Exactly. You know what I mean? And it just, it really spoke to my heart. Yeah. Um, just the drama that chipmunks can go through. Yes. You know? And so I wanted to start this charity. I put my own funds into it from just straight from my heart, right, just right, just right into the funds because I wanted them to have a place where they could go and have people where they could go to and create a community of love for these chipmunks because we all know that society runs on the love of the chipmunks that run around our cities. Yes, and I'm gonna, we're putting up a, a number right now where you can call if you are or you know a chipmunk who needs help um, or who is having issues, um, you can call the number that you see on your screen and, um, and also make donations through the website. Uh, what's the website again, Brian? The website is www.chipmunksforlifeinthecitypositivity.com. Yes, and that's great. We're gonna put that up too. Um, now on another, uh, no, you actually speak fluent Swedish um, because you were born in Sweden, of course. We love on this show to learn new languages and uh, tell us, could you just tell us how you would say hello, how are you in Swedish? Vilken frugen, frugen, bröken. Vilken frugen, frugen, bröken. 
Yes. Wow, that is awesome. And I, you know, you don't hear Swedish a lot because it doesn't seem that there's like a large Swedish speaking population, I should right. say. Um, so that's amazing. And you're able to keep that up. And you're known as um, the, you're of course the ambassador for Sweden. Um, so, you know, Swedish tourism is dependent on you. So um, now, Brian and Tracy, you, like I said, we've all met before, um, but you guys are going to be working together soon, um, not not too far off, on a movie uh, with both Will Smith and Idris Elba called Smack That. Tell us a little bit, um, Tracy, how did you get involved on uh, this, this movie? So after the whole Oscar tobacco you know i had worked with will previously in the summertime video so you know that season comes every year so i actually was in london pika the one you had on the last time yeah. she, she, she was yeah. in london so i i was at the um, museum and yeah. i saw pika there and she told me about its party that idris silva was going to be djing you know yeah. because the models we we just dance at all the parties we love the music and, right and i met him and he said that he wanted to meet the Fresh Prince. And I was like, okay then. So, you know, you call somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. And yes, I mean, you know how it is when there are fine men involved. Yeah. Fine men know fine men and finer men. So I just made a few calls. It was amazing. Yeah, it's great how it seems like uh, the community here in Hollywood is huge, but it's really quite small. We all end up working together at some point or another uh, with each other. So it's kind of amazing. Now, um, Harrison Ford called you, Tracy, a triple threat because you act, you model, and you, you obviously write. Um, but I would venture to say that you're a quadruple threat because you also um, are a choreographer um, but only for special events like runway shows and music videos, right? Yes. Yeah, so I, I just worked with Janet Jackson. I was super, super excited. You know, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, back when she dropped that album, yeah. it was everything. You know, it was everything. And so I got a chance to work with her on this new tour. And I'm just excited about dancing and dancing. I'll be um, I'll be in New York soon. I'll be working with a coach out there dancing the merengue for oh, um, cool. single de Maya. Yeah. Ah, okay. And J and Jennifer Lopez, I think, is involved in that project, right? Of course, J Lo. Where J Lo yeah. goes, we all go. Um, Tracy, tell us your astrological sign. Well, I was born under the zodiac sign of Libra. Yeah. And All right. So, so you are ruled yeah. by the planet uh, Venus, which is Venus. Pink, the color pink and purple. So you're wearing your power color. That's awesome. Oh, wow. The goddess of um, beauty, I believe they say. Yes. The goddess of beauty and the good life. Um, Brian, how about you? When is your uh, astrological sign? So Cinco de Mayo, which makes me a Taurus. Wow. So you're both ruled by the same planet, Venus, the, the planet of beauty and love and the good life. That's awesome. Yes. And you're yes. both absolutely living out your signs because you're both living the good life. And you guys are both a very uh, beautiful people um, who love people, obviously, and love doing what you do for a living. That's amazing. So. Yes, and Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to write a check for um, Brian for um, the Chipmunk Foundation. I want to, you know. I yes, wanna, I'm you know. actually going to also donate. Um, I'm going to donate four million dollars, Brian, to uh, save the chipmunks. And yes. Tracy, how much would you like to? Well, I, I didn't get this. Um, I don't know if you can see this big ruby that I'm yes. wearing here. So, you know, I have to get that. Um, I'm just going to the, the, the famous the blood things. ruby, uh, the blood ruby of South America that you famously bought at Sotheby's last month for uh, $60 million. You know what? I, I, I try not to tell too much, but, you know, you tell one stylist, you tell one hairstylist, and one, and then everybody knows. It's and our team here at Dream Interview. <laughs> is unbelievable the the stuff that they are able to find about people is just unbelievable um are you saying that you are donating that to absolutely 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 i mean wow. someone to give me another one you know yes. I tell you, uh, they give me these trinkets and i get to model and sometimes i honestly i don't have the space that I'm is unbelievable. storage and there's always some you know just some louis vuitton luggage it's 
it's just yeah. too much. It's really I know, weird. I get the same thing. I love it when the stuff comes, but I just turn right around and donate it right away to whatever cause. And that's amazing. Yeah. So a $60 million ring, Brian, is being donated to your charity, Save the Chipmunks. I'm writing a check for $4 million. And everybody at home watching today, we're going to send you each a chipmunk so that you guys can just see how lovable and wonderful they are. Yes. Uh, because, you know, that's what they're for. I mean, that's why God made chipmunks, isn't it? In fact, that's the tagline from your company, isn't it, Brian? Uh, that's why God made chipmunks, right? That's why God made chipmunks. And listen, our whole ecosystem is dependent upon the the mental health of these chipmunks. It's just, it, it's very important. It really is. Now, Tracy, one more thing I want to talk about with you is um, the movie that you did just a couple months ago. It came out it, to huge reviews. Um, it was a blockbuster uh, in the spring, um, and it was the movie called Cat Refuge, where you starred with uh, Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman as um, a woman who cared for over a thousand cats. Um, it's a true story. Of course, the woman that you're portraying is a real person. Her name is Pearl Morgenstern. And um, she was from Walla Walla, Washington. She lived in a house uh, where she had over a thousand cats um, and she became famous for that. Um, do you see any similarities <laughs> between yourself and, and that? So, so I got my first cat and I named her Faith because I was at just a space in my life where I just needed that. I just needed Faith. And so then there was this show on um, Sesame Street and I think it was, electric factory and they would go uh cat cat and it was the voice of morgan freeman and so i remember him saying these things like me ow me ow on the catwalk you know it's all about the cats yeah. so if you don't have a thousand cats i mean what are you doing i just kept finding these cats and they were stray and I just got the and I started naming them and then it was opportunity for me to walk the catwalk because the cats were walking and it was just amazing Absolutely. and so how many cats do you own now in real life my goodness so right now we just really has we really lost count the floors are heated on the second floor <laughs> and so the cats the, the, the kittens are just laying or like I, I just couldn't count them so they came in to count so <laughs> Yeah. I'll bet. I mean, that's a lot of cats. And, and Brian, now you also have uh, chipmunks in your home. How many chipmunks do you have? Yeah, well, man, at uh, this point, I would say we've adopted about 27, um, but we currently house um, about 56 ad additional chipmunks nice. within the home. Partnered with uh, some people from my company to help make my house back in my city of Chicago kind of this refuge place for a lot of chipmunks. And so, so yeah, definitely a lot of chipmunks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, and and you uh, and you've managed to get people from Chicago on board. You've got, um, I think, uh, Oprah Winfrey, Barack Obama, so many people um, that have just caught Rahm Emanuel. So many people that are getting involved now. And then that's going to only grow, I'm sure. Absolutely, yes. I mean, as popularity grows, as the message gets out, I mean, we've been very fortunate to just, you know, as as Tracy said, you meet somebody who meets somebody, and so word word is word has gotten around, and I'm and I'm excited for um, uh, our new social media account that we have just put up, and of course the traffic through through the website, and uh, even promoting some of these uh, chipmunks. Uh, they've they've actually got some projects coming out too. Wow! So now the chipmunks who you've been helping have gotten this the, the, even another benefit. Now they're starring in movies and films and things yeah. which is unbelievable absolutely yes yeah. and i mean i mean just the just the heartfelt training that comes from these professional trainers that we've been able to network with and bring in because they believe in this vision and they believe in us well and it goes to show the like the old saying you can uh, put a chipmunk in a movie or you can teach a chipmunk how to act and he'll be in multiple movies Absolutely. Yes. Right. Well, we've got some great uh, questions from our social media accounts But before we go to our questions get some great videos from JC students showing us their amazing skills with monologues and commercials We'll be right back after this Salutations, my name is Nina Auburn and I'm represented by model and talent management Oh Come here. <laughs> this is too good. 
You know what's sad, Raggedy Ann? The fact that you got all dressed up to come see my boyfriend as if he would leave me for you. You really are the epitome of delusion. I mean, who do you think you are? You're not smarter than me, and you're certainly not prettier than me. You would have to sell your soul and probably something else just to get a whiff of success. How's peddling home crafts doing for you? <laughs> Look, he's a Fortune 500 executive who was just trying to be nice. I guess no good deed goes unpunished. Do yourself a favor. Come back to reality. Stay in your lane. Because the next time you get out of it, I don't plan on having a conversation. In case I wasn't clear, bye-bye. Thank you. My furry roommate Rex is always hungry. So it's important to make mealtime for him as tasty as it is nutritious with Purina Beneful Original Dog Food. With farm-raised beef as its first ingredient, these meaty bites deliver a high-quality protein to support strong muscles. Recipe with real wholesome ingredients? I dig it. Rex digs it. All right, and we are back. Uh, that was uh, unbelievable. I mean, we've got such talent coming from JC. Uh, it's it's unbelievable. I wish we could feature everybody on every episode, but we're pulling the best, and um, they just did such a great job. So congratulations to them. Now, um, let's go to our social media. We've got thousands and thousands of questions. We, of course, can only grab a few, but um, the first one is from uh, Jamma Lama from Northern Alaska who says, why not bring the cats and the chipmunks together? Um, Tracy, what do you think about that idea? Well, you know, I was thinking about Alvin. Remember the yes. chipmunks? Yes, one of the I, most famous so, chipmunks. Yeah, so I, was, I know that I would love a, a show with that, with those, th you know, all the chipmunks. Um, I'm sure we can raise millions of dollars. So yes, it would be awesome. It would be an opportunity of a lifetime. All the cats walking, you know. Yeah. Call me, Brian. Call me, and let's just get it. So I have your people call me. And Brian, what do you honor. think? What, how do you see the outcome of cats and chipmunks getting together being? Yes. Well, I'm actually texting um, one of my uh, wingmen in the business here, and just sense so listen we are going to get this project set um this i am so excited for this idea tracy this is i think this is going to be great i am behind this 100 percent. so uh we will we will be getting in touch absolutely once once our projects are done and we will make this happen yeah. that is going to be an amazing mm. show i cannot wait to see oh, that exactly. because mm. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, now, see, we, we bring people together, we learn languages, we find out about these amazing uh, performers, entertainers that we've watched our whole lives. Now, one quick thing before we go, I want to talk about what are your feelings on fame and fortune? I mean, is it all it's cracked up to be? Brian, <laughs> tell us what you think about that. Yeah, so, you know, when it comes to fame and fortune, honestly, the condition of your heart is really what matters. Yeah. And are you about the fame and fortune just to try and level the field and make your face the only face? Are you about fame and fortune to, yes, get your face out there, but are you going to give back? Are you going to give back to society? Are you going to give back to nature? Are you going to give back to the chipmunks or to the cats or to the llamas even? Um, are you going to invest with what you've been blessed with? Absolutely. I, th I think that's a great sentiment about fame and fortune. How about you, Tracy? What do you think about it? You know, I love exactly what Brian just shared with you because it just means so much for me to give my heart. You know, the outside always takes care of itself and I get to express myself with all the fashions and the makeup and the hair and all the charity work. But at the end of the day, if if I wasn't, you know, happy doing what I was doing and being able to share with others to inspire them to do, it's not even worth it. Right. It's not even worth it. Like yeah, show yeah. up. You know, yeah, show well, up. Sure. Well, it's like blind you on camera. Let me see you. Right. <laughs> show up. Yeah, I agree totally. 
Now, we always like to do something on this show uh, where we like to show our talents with a little um, cold read. Uh, so we have actually uh, put in the uh, chat for you guys a little cold read uh, for a new product called Douanier Fragrance. Um, it's a new fragrance that I've got coming out and um, I'll go first and then you guys can go uh, each after me. I'll, we'll have Tracy go right after me. Okay, so let's, let's, here's how it goes. Ready? Before I used Douanier, I never got a look or a smile. Now I smell like I was sent from heaven. <laughs> Thanks to Douanier premium fragrance made from the glowing waters of the South Pacific and a touch of angel tears. Available only at major department stores and better boutiques. Douanier for everyone who wants to be someone. <laughs> All right, Tracy, go ahead and give us your cold <sighs> read. And before I used Douanye, I never got a look or even a smile. But now I smell like I was sent from heaven. Thanks to Douanye, the premium fragrance made from Lillian borders of the South Pacific and a touch of angel tears. Available at major department stores and better boutiques. Delanye, for everyone who wants to be someone. All right, that was great. <laughs> Brian, you're up. So, before I used Delanye, I never got a look or a smile. Now, I smell like I was sent from heaven. Thanks to Douanier premium fragrance made from the glowing waters of the South Pacific and a touch of angel tears. Available only at major department stores and better boutiques. Douanier, for everyone who wants to be some. All right, that was awesome. You guys are really great. And obviously that's why you are who you are, rich and famous and known around the world for your amazing skills. Well, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. Let's meet our actual performers. Tracy Johnson Spence, you are a JC instructor. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I am Tracy Johnson Spence and I've been coaching at JC now for about four years. Um, my background is modeling, of course, but now I have expanded my resume to I am certified in the areas of makeup artistry as well as wardrobe, and I am a production assistant in fashion, TV, and film. So thank you for having me. Uh, well, as usual, more impressive than even our fake stuff that we talked about. So <laughs> Brian, how about you? Yeah, so uh, my name is Brian Moore. Um, I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and I've been teaching for JC for about seven years now. Uh, I'm also a singer, songwriter, uh, performer. Um, I'm an artist coach, performance training in general, but I also perform as an actor and model and all of that. All right, well, uh, this was a great experience. So much fun. You guys did an amazing job. Oh, and as usual, everybody was fun and funny. <laughs> and you guys watching, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget, maybe one day you could end up having a dream interview by me. Yes.